Drummers Against Implied Timekeeping, Richard D'Albus. How to sit properly uh, at a drum set. Many years ago, uh, as I started playing gigs and uh, playing on other people's drum sets, or even practicing with other uh, people's uh, kits, um, I noticed that drummers have all kinds of ways to configure their drum set. And then they begin to uh, position the way they sit and the, what their, the way they set their pedals uh, to adjust to the drums that they have, whatever, if, especially if it's a lot of toms, uh, large tom-toms uh, across a, a, a two bass drums, for example, or even one bass drum. And what happens is uh, the drummer has to uh, uh, reposition himself to accommodate the drums, and it should be the other way around. So as a rule of thumb, generally, when you sit at a drum set, I can't believe I'm even doing this video, but it is very important. Um, when you sit at a drum set, the if it's three legs, usually it is, if it's four, that's one thing, but if it's three legs, one leg's forward always, two in the back, going opposite like this. But just sit down and put your hands on your knees. Now, I don't care if you're the most experienced player or you're a beginner. The basic premise is to sit down and configure the drums around your sitting position. You don't uh, uh, reposition your legs to accommodate the drums. The drums accommodate where you are. Otherwise, you end up putting your right foot too far forward, and I see this all the time. Lots of drummers, regardless of their experience, tend to put the hi-hat so close because they're crossing over, and they want that hi-hat close to accommodate toms or various other things, and this is terrible, and I want you to stop doing it if you're doing it. I want you to just sit at your drum stool, put your hands on your knees, and the height depends upon what you're doing. Some drummers sit very low, like uh, Tommy Aldrich and Scott Travis, uh, various other players, because they were in their bedrooms and various things as they grew up, so they just naturally sat lower. And some drummers sit very high. It depends on uh, what they're doing. I tend to think that you should sit a little above neutral. Neutral would be just level uh, with your feet to the floor. A little bit above neutral would be optimum. I tend to be totally neutral, but a little above neutral is good too. Not being below neutral, like Tommy Aldrich, uh, I wouldn't recommend that. I come, uh, the lowest seating drummer I've ever seen is Zoltan Chaney. He's a tremendous showman and a great player. Uh, but he sits as low as anyone I have ever seen, extremely low. And then obviously there's a lot of guys who sit very high. Uh, but I think medium, just a little over medium is proper. And the leg should be just positioned just like this. Just like this. Nothing complicated and definitely do not extend your right leg out, assuming you're right-handed. Or have your left leg coming in to accommodate a close hi-hat. If you have toms that are over the hi-hat, then the toms have to accommodate where your foot position is. All right. Just a short video on that. This is how you sit at a drum set. Do not complicate it any more than that. If you have questions on particulars of what you have in your configuration, uh, I understand that. Let me know. Uh, I'll be glad to answer them in the comments section. And welcome everybody who's coming to visit here. I have so many videos in the catalog that are dealing with uh, open-handed position playing. And that would obviously mean being completely centered because you're accommodating your left hand. Uh, with your right hand uh, this way and no crossover at all. I want to enhance your power and your creativity as a drummer, all right? Uh, and of course, if you haven't, please subscribe because your subscription is the support for me to continue. And thanks for that always. I'll have my PayPal address in the comments section. And anything you can give is greatly appreciated. So this is just a short video. How to sit at a drum set, not much to it. But just sit down neutral and then have the drums configured to that. Never the other way around. All right? I'm not going to get into particulars because I don't know what you're doing or the context of the style or whatever it is. But the idea of configuring your feet one way or another is definitely something you want to avoid. All right? So, uh, as I say, I played on gigs and sat in with drummers with their pedals way out here. And they're trying to get their hi-hat as close as possible here. 
which is not uh, a good thing for you. So just sit neutral and then make the configuration uh, uh, accommodate you. All right? My best to all of you, I've got a couple things coming up on the technique, but I need to uh, work that out. It's a little bit difficult, but I'm having a lot of fun. And hopefully you'll enjoy what I have posted already. I have, I think, 276 videos, so take a look at that. And let me know what you think. My best to all of you for looking in. Take care.